First of all, let's get your reaction and what really stood out to you about what Commissioner Rulo had to say. That it's a major political victory for Justin Trudeau, who was in desperate need of one because the beginning of his political year has been particularly tough. This is clear. He, and it's interesting, um, Aunt Lois, Judge Rulo says he comes at it with a certain hesitation. And what he clearly says is what a lot of people have thought all along. Mm -hmm. If there had been better coordination amongst the police forces, if we didn't have the absolute breakdown at the top level of the Ottawa police, that wasn't the fault of the women and men on the front line in the Ottawa police. The, the chief of police had to resign. It was going so badly. So he said, if we had done things differently, we might have avoided this. But where had it gotten to? There was no choice. This was the only tool that they had in their toolbox, and they had to use it. Right. And he also said on, I mean, it's not a complete win in some regards for the Liberal government because he said there, you know, if people could have put a, put aside, if all levels of government, he said, could have put Fair aside uh, the politics for the common good. That was also another key component, he said, as to what could have prevented this. Fair enough. But there I tend to uh, fall in with Mike LeCouture's analysis a few minutes ago when he said that, in his estimation, the target there is Doug Ford. It should be recalled that Mr. Ford went to court to avoid testifying before the commission. And he was, yes, indeed, as a provincial premier, a federal commission could not compel him to come and testify. But he was he could have he could have testified and he could have done it in good grace, but he chose to avoid that as well. So I think that those things together paint a picture that Judge Rulo was saying, look, we're a country. Uh, we've got to have the large cities like Ottawa working with their province and working with the federal government. And this applies across the country because as you said in the wrap up, you know, this involved Alberta, it involved Manitoba. And when you look at the, the officers on the line there, the ones that are without insignia with only a number on their back, that they were brought in from Quebec uh, once, once the act was invoked. So overall, it's a failure. He's got 56 recommendations in there that will become the slalom course that any future government's going to have to navigate. He's made a lot of specific recommendations for legislative changes to clarify a certain number of things. For example, the difference between the act and the CSIS definition, that's something that had to be worked on because it caused a certain amount of confusion. Overall, what he says is you never want to suspend rights in a free and democratic society. And when you have to do it, you've got to justify it. He says it's a very high bar. But he says this, in this case, the federal government, the Trudeau government, was able to justify having invoked the Emergency Measures Act. All right. CTV News political commentator and former NDP leader Tom Mulcair joining us on this. Thank you.